Hello there. This is uh, going to be a quick uh, video as to uh, Layla and uh, Bala. As I put a couple comments on the thread. Uh, why we fight in the Bible, I think the name of Why we fight over the Bible uh, on the God Zone. And they put this on right after one of my uh, videos about the, in the reading of Acts of Paul. And uh, Layla says, Okay, let's say I accept this idea of yours that we are choosing Paul over Jesus. You must show us where Paul's doctrine differs from Jesus, right? No. I'm going to stop reading that and answer that, and then I'll, I'll finish. Paul's doctrine is very much going to back up a large percentage of the time Jesus Christ. Paul's doctrine is going to reveal things uh, about Jesus' doctrine. That's the reason that I think Paul is in the Bible. Because in his... Uh, the same for the same reason that Pharaoh was in the Bible, for the same reason that the devil himself was in the Bible. Uh, is Paul all bad, all good? No. Is Paul? Uh, does Paul have a an important uh, aspect of the New Testament? Yes. He's going to teach us things about ourselves, and he's going to teach us things about Christ as well. Does this mean? that Paul was always the same man. Probably not. I don't think any of us are. I don't think any one of us is the same person we was a year ago, are we? Because if we are, then we're dead in whatever works we is we're trying to accomplish or learn. So let's just say that I believe that Paul may have started out very much against uh, uh, Christianity. And let's just say that uh, he might have chiseled his way into the belief system of Jesus Christ. Once he figured out that, hey, I can't get all these people thrown in jail. I can't get all these people um, uh, murdered or uh, uh, cast into prison. There's too many of them. Uh, you know, to me, the natural thought was, well, if you can't beat them, you sure as hell better join them. At least you can have cause and effect if you join them, whereas if you can't have it any other kind of way. And I'm, I'm sure they saw the spread of Christianity was going, once they couldn't arrest them all and kill them all and, and couldn't imprison them all, then... You know, I feel that he probably just had to he had to figure out another game plan. Now, that's not to say that once he got in there, and once he started reading of Jesus Christ, and once he started hanging out with these guys that uh, that uh, were devout followers of Jesus Christ, Paul wasn't conformed to some degree. At least I'm hoping that's what I'm going to find as I read on through this and other books that Paul wrote. Uh, I would like to think that the power of Jesus Christ's conformity can change any person. But now, does that mean the works that he did in the beginning are dead because of the works of what he became later and uh, later in his life? Uh, did they overshadow one or the other? I think not. I think everybody's works are going to stand. If uh, let's look look at our, our lives today. Let's say we're a rock and roll star, and then we create music and song that is indicative of smoking and drinking and and uh, doing ungodly things causing many people to get involved in drugs, smoking and drinking, and dying of this horrible sinful death. Well, let's say later on that same rock and roll guy gets to be 50. Well, now he's changed. Now he's come to the Lord. Now he sees the air of his ways. Now he starts doing gospel albums, and he tries to start spreading uh, this good gospel throughout the world that will help people. Does that mean that all these albums that he cut in his rock and roll days are not going to do damage? No. It is still going to do damage. Makes me think of Charlie Daniels. I remember a time reading where he refused to sing the, songs, uh, the song Long Haired Country Boy because he thought it advocated the use of marijuana. Well, he was an old guy then. He's, you know, he's, he's grown past that. He didn't want to do it live anymore. But guess what? They play it on the radio. And every time some 15-year-old hears that line about token on marijuana, it makes it that much easier for that kid to accept the use of marijuana. So are we relieved from our works from early... To, uh, to end because we are changing no the works stay in place the works continue and I think that's the very thing with Paul so uh, if if Paul's doctrine doesn't differ from Jesus Christ it doesn't mean that it didn't at one point it doesn't mean that what he wrote and was logged in the Bible is still being activated just like the words to that old Charlie Daniel song where it's uh, it's 
vindicative of uh, smoking marijuana and whatnot. The, the power is still there because it's out there for the people to be partaking of. And that's exactly what I feel like has happened to Paul. Uh, that being said, let me finish reading what you said and I'll try to answer the rest of it. So you said right and I just answered that uh, to the best of my ability. So will you be doing that and if his doctrine does not differ from Jesus, then what would it matter then? Choosing Paul's doctrine is choosing Jesus' doctrine, right? No. Negative. That's like saying choosing the devil's doctrine is the same thing as God's. God said to Eve, did God not say that out of every tree of the garden you can partake of? Well, you know what? Damn it to hell, he did say that, didn't he? The only thing was the devil just left something off, a very important aspect of that. But what he said was exactly in alignment with what God said. He just left some stuff off. It just changed the intent. So uh, the answer to that is no. I see, I don't know about you or anybody else, Blaine, but I do not look to Paul in ignorance. I look to the scriptures as a whole, whether it's written by Moses, Peter, Isaiah, Jude, or Paul, and I rightly divide the word uh, uh, pre precept upon precept. Good sis. But the world, much of the world, misses that. Line upon line allows God's own word to interpret it God's own word. Uh, very smart. Very wise. Uh, but I think what we see today's mainstream is not that at all. And I think what we saw mainstream do with the writings of Paul is justify things such as uh, uh, unclean food, such as Easter, such as uh, uh, the rapture. And I'm sure there's going to be more in there as we look. But that being said, okay, Valen says, uh, I don't get it, Blaine. Moses wrote the Torah for the most part, yet we would imagine that recognizing the validity of it is taking his word over God's, Paul's words, are his testimonies to Jesus Christ. What's not to believe he is pointing at Jesus Christ as our only salvation. Luke and Peter both recognize him as understanding the purpose behind God sending his own son. I truly believe the reason some the reason some hate Paul is because he writes of a higher standard than Christians are held to. He basically is telling us that we need to put our money where our mouth is. Further, I have yet to encounter someone who cast doubts upon Paul who did not eventually uh, come to doubt Christ himself. Uh, even Peter speaks of the danger of rejecting Paul's words. It's a slippery slope. We're told to put evil thoughts away and what makes the mouth of whomsoever introduced this concept more trustworthy than the words of the apostles. And what makes the mouth of the testimony more worthy than the apostles? Uh, it doesn't. The guy, if, you're, if we're referring to the, whoever started this conversation with about Paul, I, I don't think you're talking about the guy in the video that I put on there. That's just one guy among uh, probably countless discussions and videos about Paul. Uh, but if we go back to the beginning, the very beginning of Paul's travels, they were always looking at Paul, even back then, as an untrustworthy guy. I mean, the guy was killing, taking part in the murder of Christians. Uh, so we always like to say, oh, he's holding the coat, he's holding the coat. But I just read last night in my studies of Paul that he said that he's voiced out against people that they were murdering in his jails, uh, that they were putting to death. He was out there voicing. He was like standing up, giving witness before these councils that these people would be killed. So it's more to it than just the act of holding Stephen's coat uh, when Stephen was uh, bludgeoned to death. Uh, Paul was always looked on with suspicion by not only the Pharisees of the Bible, but as Christians as a general as a whole. And the only witness that we have, and this is one of the most important things, that uh, Christ uh, con uh, confronted uh, Paul and got him, asked him to get on Team Jesus and do the works of Jesus, was from Paul's own witness. And one of the things that that video uh, covered, the importance of not testimonying to yourself about what God give you or being your own testimony. Christ said that he didn't want to do that. Christ never picked up a pen and wrote these stories. Christ lived his life in a manner that others would do that for him. 
because he said, what would it matter if I testimony to myself? Hell, anybody can make up anything about themselves. Anybody can be self-delusional about themselves. But you have to have these other witnesses that are willing to testimony this down to, uh, but whereas we see with Paul, what we know about Paul primarily comes out of Paul's mouth, Paul's own mouth, which is very corruptible. Because then we have to add in that mix of uh, not only the Holy Spirit, but now the Holy Spirit in the flesh mouth. So, in, in answer to your question, which I don't really think it was a question, it was more of a, uh, a comment, uh, which I appreciate the comment. I think the things brought forth in that, that guy's uh, videos that I put up there, that everybody automatically looked at with scrutiny, that automatically looked at the same exact way that I look at Paul, that everybody wants to uh, uh, either ridicule or tear them down. Uh, we can do that with anything. Hell, we can do it with Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not that hard, but we're going to find in them what we look for. And I still cannot get past the fact that Jesus handpicked his own team while he was on earth. If he wanted Paul to be all that in a bag of chips, why in the hell wasn't Paul all that in a bag of chips when Jesus was out there doing the work? Jesus did pick out the twelve to be his disciples at that time. So, you know, why didn't Paul, why didn't Jesus give us message? Or tell us, hey, he could have even given him by name. Why didn't he? Now, he was doing bigger miracles than that as far as telling futures and uh, prophecies that were coming. So, you know, if if Paul was actually going to be this uh, this chosen vessel, why didn't uh, Christ tell us that? And I'm sure we're, we're already ticking up, looking up for the scriptures that we have things that say in it, but it's not going to mention Paul by name, right? Whereas Christ very much had the power to do that. Or at least something closer to get it more certain than what it was. Even if it wouldn't be Paul's name. But it could have been something that would be more uh, concrete than what we have today. Other than Paul's own words that, hey, Christ came to me, wrestled me, and told me I'm on Team Jesus now. By the way, did I mention I'm going to rise to be at the top of your church when it comes to the New Testament, which is a story about Christ. And everybody's going to be looking and listening to me and not the 12 that Jesus picked over here. You see? Sometimes we have to see things that not so much that are written, especially when we're talking about the possibility and concept of the writings being in control of them that were constantly trying to destroy Christianity. Very important to look at it from that light. These people then, before, and today constantly trying to destroy Christianity. So, and they're the very ones who compiled the book that put all of Paul's writings in there. Okay, just saying. So I, I did want to make a quick bid uh, as in, uh, somewhat of an answer to that. Uh, I can't keep continue writing these long posts, man, because it takes me forever. A long post I wrote tonight, man, it, it takes me hours. I got to bed at like 3.30. I just, uh, so I'm, I'll try to do these videos, and uh, God forbid that uh, these videos, because uh, if we ever lose videos, then we're not going to, this post won't make sense. So I'm hoping that uh, that the witches won't uh, make a movement to uh, kill off my, uh, my videos. So anyway, that being said, I'm going to get back to uh, my studies here, and I hope this kind of uh, shed some light on to my my thoughts to what your comments were. Okay, guys, peace out.